Every so often a new game comes along that just changes the landscape of the gaming industry. Sometimes it's a new genre completely. Sometimes it's a new take on an old favorite. And sometimes a game comes along that really changes how the gaming industry works on the business end of things. Sometimes a game comes along and changes our total idea of what a video game can even be. But now it's 2023 and I feel that Baldur's Gate 3 is doing something similar that its predecessor has done before. And that is breathe new life into the genre that is CRPGs. But I think Baldur's Gate 3 has also awakened the consumers, the ones that are putting their money and time on the line. You see, back when we got the original Baldur's Gate, CRPGs were kind of falling out of favor. Nobody was really playing CRPGs anymore or playing role-playing games in general. People are starting to favor more action games, first-person shooters that had come out. And Baldur's Gate 1 brought back the love for the story, for the adventure, for the grand scope. I remember when I got my PC Gamer magazine that came with a demo disc of Baldur's Gate 1. It took up the entire demo disc. I think it was, they lauded it as like, 572 megabyte demo like it was on the it was on the magazine it was on the disc it was it was a big deal we got a large portion of the first part of the game as a demo i fell in love immediately i was like this is this is what i've been looking for in video games this is this is good like uh, the story the characters the, the 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 grand scope of the adventure that was before me i wanted to take in every little detail that this world had to offer. And I believe Larian Studios has brought that magic back with Baldur's Gate 3. Definitely in a time where CRPGs have yet again started to fall out of favor. I believe the last really good CRPG that I played here recently is more of a tactical RPG, but it still had the CRPG elements, but was Wasteland 3. I've got a review here for here on my channel. I absolutely loved Wasteland 3, but Baldur's Gate 3 has done something I don't think any game has done in a very, very long time. And that is deliver what was promised via the marketing from the developers. We're getting the game that we were told we were going to get, and they're still working on it. They're still making it better with every patch. They're improving. They're taking customer feedback, which is a whole other thing that developers nowadays aren't doing. So is Baldur's Gate going to be one of those games that changes the industry and not just a genre, but the entire industry of gaming. And when I say changes it, I mean for the better. And the numerous years of my life leading up to now here in 2023, there have been numerous games that have been put out, overhyped, and didn't deliver what was promised. And then on top of that, have very scummy pay to win or pay to play or just microtransactions in general that become the overall focus of the game and the game's uh, sense of monetization. The thing a lot of these gaming companies nowadays don't put any emphasis on is the player experience. They're just crafting a game in the small time constraint that their corporate overlords allow them. They just shit out a mediocre product in order to appease shareholders and the suits to make sure that they make their Q4 profits. And that's not to say the developers on the ground level actually doing the coding, the writing, all of those folks very well may be very passionate about the projects they're working on, but that passion doesn't show through when you've got some corporate boot stepping on your neck telling you that you need to crank this out in a certain amount of time. I would much prefer studios nowadays to take the route that Larian Studios took and actually put their game in early access and then leave an open dialogue with their players to actually have this one-to-one, -one, this back and forth, in order to make the best game that we possibly can. Early access for them allowed them the early funding to keep going and allowed a fan base to build around it while they were still working on the game. This is how you do early access. I think after numerous years of experiencing these bad practices in the business end of gaming, most of us have become numb to it, the microtransactions. So if we bitch about it, we complain, but it's just the, the cost of business, right? That's just the way things are nowadays. But I believe Baldur's Gate 3 is going to change that. So many people are now saying, you know, like, this is the new standard. There was a whole argument over whether or not Baldur's Gate was going to be the new standard. This should be the new standard. Not, not in depth, not in scope. Not, you know, we don't need a game. Not every game needs hundreds, 
thousands of hours of gameplay or countless replayability, what we are asking for is a complete game. We buy it, we get it. There might be a couple patches to fix a few things here and there, but overall we receive a finished product when we first install the game. Baldur's Gate 1 came out. You had five discs, you installed it, and guess what? You played the game, it worked. Did it have some bugs? Yeah. Does it still to this day after it got passed to Beamdog still have bugs? There's bugs. That's just the nature of gaming. Nothing is gonna be perfect. Nobody's asking for perfection and Baldur's Gate 3 is no different. It's not perfect. It has its flaws. But what I am saying is that Baldur's Gate 1 came to us complete. Baldur's Gate 3 came to us complete. There is no reason for us to continue to purchase with our hard-earned money video games that are in an incomplete state simply because that's what the release date was. This is the date that's going to get us our Q4 profits. When businesses like this continue to put the consumer last, eventually that's going to come back and bite them in the ass. If you ask me, I think Baldur's Gate 3 is going to be a catalyst for the consumers to wake the fuck up, that this is absolutely doable, that there is no reason for us to settle for anything other than the developer's best. I think that we are going to, as a whole, see more people demand quality from their product and not just a whole bunch of shitty monetization practices thrown into games. I don't know anything about the business side of this. I don't know if they're like barely making any money after their sales after they put into marketing, after they put into, you know, paying all of the, the developers. I don't know if they're covering their expenses or if it just so happens that the people at the top are just needing more money, which especially uh, given the uh, late stage capitalist hellscape that we're currently living in, I wouldn't put it past the latter to be the case that it is just dudes in suits wanting their extra vacation home and has nothing to do with paying the bills underneath. But Baldur's Gate 3 absolutely needs to be the new standard and say, hey, Bethesda, Ubisoft, Activision, Blizzard, we're, we're tired of this. We want a game that's finished. We don't want the bullshit. We don't want to be nickel and dimed. And the only way as consumers that we can change this is to speak with our money. We need to stop purchasing these games. We need to stop buying the microtransactions and spending that money. We want to tell them and speak loudly and clearly that we will not take this anymore. I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not gonna take this anymore. Cause let's face it, the only reason Bethesda continues to have staggering sales for their mediocre performance is that people go out and continuously buy it. So stop, stop buying it. And even if you want to play the game, stop buying it day one. Wait a month to buy the game. What's going to happen if you wait a month? You weren't the first one to play the game. You weren't the first one to experience it. You're not out anything. There's no FOMO. There's, there's literally no FOMO in playing a single player game months later, years later. Don't buy it outright, because I promise you, you give them even the smallest window where they go, holy crap, sales are nothing. It's so bad. They'll start to rethink it, but it has to be all of us standing together saying we have had enough. I'm also really excited because Baldur's Gate 3 has brought in so many new people to CRPGs. CRPGs were dying. Like, let's be real. We haven't gotten any like really good ones in a few years now. It's definitely a genre that has gone by the wayside, similar to one of my other favorite genres, which is point and click adventure games. We just don't see these very often. I really, really hope that Baldur's Gate 3 brings in more people to the genre. I've already done videos covering other CRPGs that people should check out after they're done with Baldur's Gate 3. Nothing has made me happier than seeing in like comment sections or people coming into my Twitch channel saying, hey, I don't normally play games like this, but I absolutely love Baldur's Gate 3. 
I have been sleeping on this genre forever. Maybe uh, I should check out other games. Do you have any recommendations? I really hope we get to see more CRPGs in the future from other developers. Larian will continue to crank them out. They'll be very good at it. I hope we see more from Obsidian because they did very well with Pillars of Eternity. And not only that, I just like meeting new people, talking with them, and just gushing over something that I absolutely love. And, and that being really well done CRPGs. But with all this excitement, there is a little bit of melancholy that's starting to set in. I'm getting up there. I'm not a spring chicken. I'm getting older. But the thing is, every time I sit down and play Baldur's Gate 3, there's a little voice in my head that whispers to me when I'm playing Baldur's Gate 3 that says, what if this is a once in a lifetime experience? What if there is no change in the industry? What if there is no swelling of love from here on out for CRPGs in the future? What if this is it? You're halfway through your life. Could it be the fact that I'm getting older and that my tastes have changed? Absolutely. But I can't help but worry that this is a once in a lifetime deal, that there aren't gonna be any more games like this. And I hope I'm wrong, I, I really do. But it's still a concern because I would love to have more experiences like this. And granted, hopefully we get a couple more of these out of Larian Studios, at least, before, before the, the, the Reaper decides to come and whisk me away. But I am getting older, and tomorrow is never guaranteed. So I'm going to enjoy Baldur's Gate 3 while I have the chance. I'm going to enjoy every minute of it. And whether or not Baldur's Gate 3 was your thing, whether or not Bethesda games are your thing, whether or not you enjoy to play Pokemon, do, it, do what makes you happy at the end of the day. Do what makes you happy. Play what you find enjoyable. But if you are tired of the way things are going in the industry, just take a couple seconds to reflect that maybe we don't need to buy the game first day. Maybe we don't need to buy the game day one or week one or month one. Maybe we need to say, hey, we're the ones that make or break your games. And we've been buffaloed too many times. Maybe, just maybe, if we're loud enough and we push back hard enough, that maybe in the future, we'll see a resurgence of games that are about giving a consumer a solid product to enjoy instead of padding the wallets of some executive. But what do I know? I'm just some old fuck that just sits around playing video games all the time. And just remember, and at the end of the day, do what you want to do. Stay weird. Stay awesome. And I'll see you in the next video.